What's up, y'all? It's L. And this is the Elmatic View. So, um, typically I will go home and get myself together and go to my friend's house, my cousin's house, and prepare myself to do my video vlog. And today, it just wasn't in me to do that after seeing the movie Detroit. Um, that was one of the most traumatic films I have ever seen in my life because I could not imagine living in that time to know like my grandmother who grew up in the Jeffrey Projects here in Detroit uh, my grandfather who fought in the war he was a Vietnam veteran and to have experienced things like that you know my grandfather picked cotton in Yasmin City Mississippi and he feared for his life for so long you know and he went to fight the white man's war to still come home and not be respected um, for fighting for a country that we built. We built the soil in this country. We, the concrete we have with our hands and to, and to know that we were labeled as specimens and um, kill a nigga today. I'm really at a loss for words because We're still experiencing that today. And what makes it even worse is that we're doing it to each other every day. Every day a black man's killed another black man just to prove that he's tough. And, you know, this, is, this just goes back to the beginning of time. You know, we, we were brought to this country and we have been mistreated and we have been used and abused for hundreds of years. And, you know, this film just had, and this vlog is gonna be all over the place. I'm just gonna let y'all know that right now because my heart hurts. This is like, it was a traumatic experience for me. So imagine the people who had to live it, the families that lost their, their loved ones. And this is even before the riots of 67, you know, being lynched and beaten. And for what? Because you fear the strength of a black man, of black people. And the manipulation of, of us putting us against one another, you know. And at some point, when is it going to stop? When are we going to recognize that for ourselves? When are we going to stop living in that time? For the actors of that film, they did an amazing job. Um, if you guys don't know, they're using the story of three young men um, who were murdered at the hotel. You know, this isn't just, isn't just some made-up story. This is something that actually happened. Um, and don't get me wrong. We went about it the wrong way. But it was a part of the movie when they said, um, we were non-violent for so long. We don't have a choice. I'm not sure that's what they said verbatim. I actually have it in my notes. But when I got in the car, I couldn't even refer back to my notes watching that film uh, simply because and I get that you know I, I get that and what John Kyer said you know you don't you don't destroy your community because 50 plus years later look at it you know um, 50 years later that area is still, the city has not been able to recoup from, from that destruction. And then after you get out of the 70s, 67, you go into the 70s, you get to hit the 80s and there's the crack epidemic. And the city has been through so much turmoil. And then city corruption within itself, political corruption. Nothing can, we can't get that time back. And for the people in the city of Detroit who said they weren't going to see that film, I encourage you to. Because it's, it makes a person with, with a brain sit and think. They want to destroy us and they have wanted to destroy us for so long. At the end of that film, you can tell Larry went through some type of post-traumatic stress syndrome, you know. He wasn't even able to do what he loved after experiencing something like that. Don't get me wrong, every cop isn't bad and every black man ain't bad either. We didn't know what to do, but now we have to do something different. 
we have to stop killing one another too because it all goes back to post-slavery syndrome to the Willie Lynch syndrome to I'm gonna have to probably really do this um, speak about this topic another time when, when I can wrap my mind around some things but we have to love each other and the city of Detroit has been fucked up for so long for so long I encourage you guys to see that film because it is just it's heart wrenching truly 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 heart wrenching because how can a person be so cruel and for what kill a nigga today that's what we gonna do we gonna kill a nigga today you racist cunt and do you know how many motherfuckers get a badge and think they tough and they walk around hunting they treat us like animals what a specimen because a nigga can run forget the fact that he's unarmed forget that I had to get my stuff together because I was all over the place but you know I don't understand the mind of a person that has lack of empathy and conscience and you know the sociopathic a lack of humanity the lack of love the low self esteem because a person like that has low self esteem you know our city has not been able to recuperate itself since the riots and don't get me wrong like I said I'm not sure, well I've shot this a couple of times before I decided to put this together but we went out the wrong way you know our city has not been able to revamp 50 years later you know I don't know if the people who when, when they were riding if they understood that this is affecting the black business owners because 12th street was black businesses people who built their businesses from the bottom up you know proving a point was you should have proved that point outside of the city but at that time you don't think about that and i get that you know we have to figure out, out a way to do better and it's unfortunate because we're going through that right now today and our justice system is still as fucked as it was 50 years ago as it is right now today not convicting these fucking cunt police officers that are killing these people for sport and they're doing it because they have no consequences or repercussions to the shit it's so unfortunate when I'm gonna take that that movie had me just my heart my I could have threw up in my mouth my stomach my chest was in the pit of my stomach my stomach was hurt I could have vomited it was that for me I know I'm a strong person, but for the it gives me another type of respect for the people who had experienced that. So I can just imagine what my forefathers, you know, we, we, we've watched Roots and we've seen documentaries. But this for me, I think was a lot more in my face because I know people firsthand, you know, my grandmother who graduated high school, went to Northwestern, graduated in 68. You know, my grandfather who has told me, you know, he didn't want to look at white folks. Cause you look at a nigga, it might be killing nigga today. If I kill, you know. And when they said in the film, you know, what did he say exactly? We were never violent. We were too non-violent. So when the white police officer said, "How are we supposed to stop them? How do you think that we feel? How are we supposed to stop you? Cause we've tried every tactic, and it has yet to work." When Malcolm X said, "Blue eyed devil," I'm starting to believe it. And was messed up because I know all white folks ain't bad. Just like y'all know all black people ain't bad too. It's just a corruption. I have so much more about this topic that I'm going to talk about. Especially I'm going to go back to the post-slavery syndrome, the Willie Lynch syndrome. And just because of, this film just gave me a lot of inflictions, you know. Just a lot of things to think about. Um, if you guys can check out my mental illness vlog, I encourage you to do so. But I'm going to go more in depth in this. I have to do a lot of research. Cause I can't be up here talking when I know what I'm talking about. Give me a couple weeks. I got a lot of things going on. But um, go see Detroit. Go see Detroit. Support that film because it is important. They was killing us by a dime a dozen. And we doing it to each other today still. And some people are going to call me, you know, 
I don't know me ain't gonna call me Uncle Tom for that, but we don't buy our own lives at this point today. But back then, you know, we tried to unify. There were so many black people trying to unite and be together. And it's like, what works? What is, what's going to stop it? Is it ever going to stop? I don't care. I got so many thoughts that's racing in my head about this. But I will say, subscribe. Go to the movie Detroit. Support that black film. Because it's struggling in the box offices and it shouldn't. Because this is a history lesson. Go to show your Go take your children and see this. Go see it with your grandparents. Make this a family event. Okay? Make it a family event. I'm out though. I gotta go. About to go home and cry some more. It's just, and I ain't playing. I was, you saw, I was, I was really broken up about that. I want y'all to see me with my ugly cry face. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Thank y'all for tuning in, of course. Peace.